Hey everyone, hey I see here. If you take a look right in the distance here, you can see the east and the north sides of my building here. So what do you say we go check them out? I have turned zombies back on. I was building with zombies disabled. This is still a survival world after all, so there should be zombies somewhere. Okay, there's some over there. Sorry, I've been running around a little bit, and that probably means that they have spawned a little bit in that direction. And I'm sure there's still some around over here, but they're not quite back yet. There we go. They're starting to pop in again. Now let's go say hi to this gentleman right quick to get rid of him. Now I'll kind of show you what I did a little bit here. I did add another row of spikes. These are only upgraded a little bit. They're not upgraded to the full metal spikes. But I've basically rebuilt everything, and I'm not going to be flying around too much because I have, as I said, turned zombies back on, which means I am no longer playing under I can fly rules. Now something I don't think I showed you last time when I was originally doing this metal bridge episode was that I did end up putting a bunch of metal ladders over here, along with just reinforced this stuff so that it's, well, reinforced. And look at that, I missed one. Figures I missed one. I always miss one it seems but pretty cool i like it if i do say so myself so let's go ahead and check out the back side of the building here this will be the southern face i believe and you can see everything is nice and restored and i ended up using just some regular glass it's called business glass or glass business i believe this is the centered variant i could have gone for non-centered so maybe have the glass flush with the concrete, but I opted to go with centered. I just like the look of that. And then we go around to the, is this the east side here? Then we have obviously some more glass, some more spikes, and this weird ramp. Now, yes, it is built out of wood, and yes, this particular edge of it looks normal because I didn't dig all of this out here. You can see I did dig a little bit out just so I could put some frames in there because I initially just had one way up this ramp. But let's go ahead and uh, let's jump in this way and I'll show you why I built this. Now, I'm just gonna tell you right quick here, I built it out of wood as a bit of an homage to the old building. And I've kept up a couple of just crummy pieces of the stuff I did as a reminder of what this building looked like before I went and fixed it. And now that I've kind of shown you that stuff, maybe I'll get around to changing it. I'm not 100% sure. I kind of like having just the one little random block there. It, it just, it's such a reminder of how I completely tore this building apart and, well, maybe not completely tore it apart, but tore it apart a fair amount and have now basically rebuilt it. Now this is a functional ramp after all. Got basically an approach from three sides it's nice and wide and we get right up here and i think what i'll end up doing and i'm kind of surprised i didn't do this now that i'm thinking about it i might want to add just a little lip over here in which case then i might need to rebuild my ramp or maybe just add another ramp right there another actual flat ramp piece just that way i could actually jump up to an additional square right here gonna say I'd show you what that looks like but I don't have any stuff on me right now so these people are just going to walk around in circles and huh, look at that it's kind of like a zombie shooting gallery this is kind of fun <laughs> I actually rather enjoy that let's go inside so I didn't have this door last time I decided to put a door in because it seemed weird to have this little it's not really a balcony area but this outside area and not have a way to get up to it that just seemed weird so door now, I had a ton more lighting before I settled on this particular light variation. And, I don't know, I might end up getting rid of some stuff. Who knows? But I kind of like it now. Definitely have lots of glass everywhere so you can see what time of day it is at any time of the day. No matter where you are in the building, that was a lot of fun getting rid of all those broken boards and things like that. Really enjoy how this looks. Now I have put a little bit of furniture down, nothing major. This is not meant to be a completely furnished building. I mean, I did kind of rebuild an office building and yes, I have put some desks and tables and 
chairs and that sort of stuff around, but it's also, in this particular instance, kind of my base of operations now that I have relocated to, or I guess I at some point relocated out here. So it isn't necessarily meant to be fully decorated as the original building was, just because I kind of co-opted it. Now here you go, here's the nice desk that I put over here and the nice office chair, well, kind of nice. It could actually use a new texture, it seems. It's a little hideous, actually. So just a couple little things, again, just kind of having a little fun decorating. Nothing major, some chairs, nice little single couch right there. Comfy big leather chair, essentially. Did put in a little couch in here since this is the actual mattress that controls where I spawn. So we'll just go ahead and leave that in there. I did think about putting in a nice good looking bed, but I kind of just decided to stick with the mattress because, well, it kind of works. I mean, it, this building was never meant to be super nice when I took it over because obviously it had been destroyed. So, you know, why completely put a bunch of nice stuff in here? So a couple plants. I added a couple of cupboards and an additional cupboard up top here. So a couple more campfires. This one's going to have the pot on it, the grill, and then a couple of beakers just because why not? You can always swap them out for whatever. It doesn't matter. Still have all my stuff in here. I've actually gotten rid of some of my junk just because there was no need to have all of it. Haven't really put anything in the fridge. We'll get around to that eventually. Nice big couch up here. If I were playing multiplayer, this would be a nice gathering area, I think. Along with some forges. Obviously, could build more forges. Maybe put a couple more angled ones in there. And then some more flat ones right against the wall. Nice and flush. Basically, just did brass, iron, cement. And then I think this is lead and bullet tips. So, basically, it's just your kind of standard loadout. The sort of stuff you might want. Or need, I guess. Not all the stuff you want, because maybe then you'd have glass jars and that sort of stuff. So here's the entire roof back in one piece. This is pretty cool. I rather enjoy this. Y you know, if you don't remember what it looks like, go back and watch one of those older episodes, or if you're playing a game of your own, go ahead and just check out one of, the, one of these buildings. This is, in my book at least, one heck of a transformation. I mean, this is really cool looking. I'm really enjoying this. I'm sure it could be done better. I'm sure some of you folks have some really cool ideas for ways this could be done and I'd like to see that too but for what I was wanting to do I'm pretty pleased with it and yes I did add an extra air conditioner up here because I got rid of two in the building so hey you know why not but on the whole I'm pretty pleased with it it came out pretty well it definitely took a while to do all of this it's not it's not that it's difficult necessarily it's just that it's really time consuming to do this sort of stuff it just, it doesn't go quickly because there's so much to do. And if I had maybe changed some settings in terms of block durability, that sort of stuff, I probably could have gotten through this a lot faster than I did. Hi, dog. You can't climb. Oh, excuse me, officer. I'm going to hide. Yeah, I knew I annoyed him, but that's okay. I just kind of wanted to check out the building. And I would actually show you, but I can't. But inside there, just in case anyone spawns, there's a bunch of spikes all inside the bridge now, too. Nothing obscene. Again, just the same kind of single upgraded spikes, but they're just there in case something decides to spawn inside there. So that's pretty much it. This is my converted office building. Converted, I don't know, rebuilt, something along those lines, however you'd like to call it. Excuse me, dog. And there you have it. This was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed putting it back together. If you haven't done anything like this, definitely give it a whirl. It's pretty interesting. It's a bit of a challenge trying to basically make it look like what it looked like, and yet still being able to have your own spin with it. And I think I have a pretty decent spin on it, but like I said, I'm sure folks have other ideas, better ideas, different ideas. That's really all it is in the end. It's just different stuff, but... This was kind of my playing around with it, and I don't know, maybe I'll play around a little more and just kind of do some more random stuff out here now that I have this crazy cool building put back together. If nothing else, it might be fun to go and see how it holds up against a horde. I'm not sure I can get one to spawn at this point, but hey, you know, it's worth a shot. But until then, I'll catch you on that next episode, so 
Thanks for watching. See you later.